Hi, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance. Today we're going to talk about charging your cell phone in an emergency. And I'm going to show you how to use your cell phone charger, a car adapter, and some batteries, a little bit of wire, and a key in order to charge your cell phone in an emergency. Like if you're broke down on the side of the road, you know, for some reason the electrical system isn't functioning in the car, your cell phone's dead, you're out on a hunting trip, something like that, phone's dead, it's an emergency, whatever that is, you need to charge the phone and you don't have anything really to do it with except for just the, the random odds and ends that you've got. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use these simple things to charge your phone. We'll be right back. All right, what we've got here is stuff that you'd probably just find in your car or just the odds and ends that are laying around when you might have to charge your cell phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug the cell phone in. I've already taken the car adapter and plugged it in to the charger. It will help if you've got some electrical tape, some black electrical tape or duct tape or masking tape or scotch tape, anything. I use this because it just worked better, uh, but any of those tapes will work. You'll need a car key. You'll need some wire, whether that's wire that you strip out of the automobile or snare wire, which is what this is. It's just snare wire that I carry in my survival pack. <clears throat> and with these batteries, a 9 volt, or these CR123 batteries, or the simple AA batteries, you can charge your phone. I'll show you the 9 volt first. It's real simple. You've got your positive and your negative. Just take the key, plug this in and push it down, take the key, now the phone's charging. I don't know if you can see both the screen and the light here. The light goes out, phone stopped charging, now it's charging again. Now the 9 volt is ideal. However, I see a lot of guys showing people how to charge with a 9 volt, but the 9 volt is not what it used to be. Uh, it's not in as many products as it used to be. We don't carry around 9 volts the way we used to. You know, 20 years ago, every TV remote in America and a whole bunch of other products had a 9 volt. Today, that's not the case. Uh, the AA, the AAA, and the CR123 really kind of rule the day. So here's an object that you probably find in your car, flashlight, and it takes these CR123 batteries. What I've done is I've linked them together each one of these produces three volts of DC current. So what I've got here is three, six, nine. I've linked them together in a series. Now I tried to use two batteries. I could never get it to work. Uh, it seems like you have to generate nine volts or over six volts of electricity in order to get this to work. And this is nine, so it's plenty. Um, this, these are one and a half volts a piece and there's five of them. Uh, so this is seven and a half volts. This one isn't much more complicated than the last one. I'll put the light up so you can see it. You're going to have to stretch your fingers. And remember, I know this is not convenient. It's not meant to be. This is something that you do in an emergency when your life is at stake, that when you have to make a call um, and you simply don't have any other way to get a little bit of power into your phone. There we go. Charging. Now, any one of these methods will not allow you to charge the phone completely. But it will allow you to put a 10 to 20% charge into the phone. Now, I'll show you the double or triple or the double A batteries it would work just the same with triple A it wouldn't uh, wouldn't be any different now I had to use a fairly long piece of wire but if you've got a survival kit and you've got snare wire that really shouldn't be an issue 
Now I use tape, electrical tape in some places to overcome any added resistance that I might get by touching the wire and you don't have to it will overcome it I just did it so that it would be a little bit easier and there we go we're charging and I know it'd be inconvenient to hold this this way for any length of time but if you need to make that phone call if your life depends on it believe me you can do this for 10 or 15 minutes 20 minutes to get a charge in this phone it just takes a little bit of patience now you can do the same thing if you had a friend you don't need the tape uh, you know if there's another person with you they can hold the batteries together and, and hold this end on for you uh, while you do the charging and if you have a, if it's a 9 volt then obviously you don't need anything but a car key um, some keys you might not have success with the first key that you try uh, keys are made out of different alloys and some of them are more conductive than others some have more resistance than others uh, the car charger is necessary because all of this all these batteries are DC current uh, what you get in your house wall plug is AC current alternating current uh, so it you're not going to be able to take DC and put it into this or excuse me DC uh, into an AC device you know uh, an inside charger you're not going to be able to do that you need a uh, an inverter or converter which is what that will do um, and actually this uh, just uh, makes it so that DC current flows into here and directly into here. Uh, this also operates off DC current, has a battery in it. Um, anyway, uh, you can also charge this, let's say your battery was dead, uh, very weak, you know, dead and wouldn't start the car. Uh, that's fine. It may not start the car, but there's more than enough juice left in there for this little battery. So you could use the same principle, just take the car charger, stick it on there maybe your electrical system's not working or maybe it's just a, an old car battery that you find in the field uh, you could stick that uh, on the positive terminal take a wire and stick it on the negative terminal and touch it to there and it would charge your phone the same way car battery a six volt battery nine volt batteries any of the batteries that you find are going to be just fine for this purpose but i've seen a lot of guys do some videos on emergency charging so i thought i would do one uh, this is kind of my take on it, and these are the batteries that you would commonly find in your car or your backpack. Uh, we all have flashlights. Everybody's carrying a tactical flashlight these days, so CR-123s are around every corner. Uh, you know, AA batteries, AAA batteries, everybody's got them. Uh, you know, if you look around in your vehicle, if there's two or three people with you or you're out on a hunting trip, I guarantee you can scrounge up four to five AA batteries or AAAs. And even if they're not the same, if you have to take one of these CR-123s and a couple of these and link them together like this, that's fine. That's not going to hurt anything. You get a 3-volt power source and a one and a half. You're linking them. So when you do that and you tape them together, you simply are producing a 4.5-volt power source. So you can continue to do this, and it doesn't matter if you've got a AA, a AAA, and you know another CR123 you could have three four different kinds of batteries all linked together just positive right to the back and then continue the link down and it's fine um, so even if you can't come up with all the same battery don't worry about it you can use whatever you find you just gotta remember that you need to generate over six volts to overcome the resistance of the charger and so on uh, and yes wire does have resistance uh, even though it conducts electricity, it has a certain amount of resistance that has to be overcome. Uh, plus the charger itself, the phone itself, the device, may not accept anything coming in that's under 6 volts. So if you, if you do this correctly, you can generate that no trouble whatsoever. Do it quickly and easily in an emergency. And you can get those couple, maybe one or two vital phone calls that you need. Uh, if you're calling for an ambulance or you're calling for, uh, you know, a rescue if you're out in the woods, uh, you know, I don't know, you get shot on a hunting trip or whatever and, and you just have to be able to call and your phone is dead. Uh, you know, this is your answer. This is your way out. Anyway, uh, if you like what we do, like us on Facebook, like our videos, share our videos. Thanks for watching.